What is happening everybody, I'm Manu7 and welcome to a brand new Fortnite video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you something that no one has seen yet in Fortnite Battle Royale and we're going to see the first ever part of the actual rocket after it's been launched, after it's attacked, wherever it's going to attack and we're going to discuss all the new changes and how all of these things associate. I've tried my very best to piece all the information together and do all the research I can on all the leaked information but it begins here right next to Retail Row. So sit back, strap yourself in, if you enjoyed today's video of course share it around and I'm sure you're going to see things in this video you, you haven't yet seen and this is going to be a first. So. The reason we're starting over here in Retail Row is this is one of the major things that have obviously been going on for weeks. The enemies, the villains, whatever we want to put them across as, they've obviously been going around filling in all the meteor holes around the map, which we know contained hop rocks and these meteorite rocks. Now we know that these meteorite rocks gift us superpowers, obviously the ability to fly around and jump crazy heights into the sky and you know basically take no fall damage. Now there's numerous new areas around the map that have had this area filled in. So there are no longer any meteor craters around the areas that we've visited in the past. And we've got these government looking vehicles or these villain looking vehicles transporting and always taking all of it over to the villain's base on the other side of the map. We've seen it numerously throughout the weeks. But over in Retail Row, something new has arose. And this is the one thing that ultimately has led to so much information being discovered and things linking themselves together. So right next to Nom Noms and Big Shots right here, we have a brand new building and it says Detective Agency. Now you've probably heard about this one if you've been following the story as of today. It's one of the newest updates and I'll be coming back to this because there's an important leaked piece of item clothing, let's say, that associates to the whole story and it links so many different things together. The first thing I want to show you though is over in Dusty Divot. Now today when me and Ali A, when we were recording our video I noticed that the helicopter was gone and in you know the area where the helicopter was there was a rock foundation on the floor so if we take a look at this you might just think there's nothing really much going on here it's just a rock foundation but let's just say for a moment you want to picture and imagine that something is hit here and caused this formation to be formed in the way it is now imagine something lodged in between these rocks okay and you'll understand that why for later in the video but just take that in there's numerous locations around the map where there are rock formations new like this and one of them will be holding a part of the rocket which I'm going to show you later on that no one's seen before. Now I have notes because there's a lot of information that I need to make sure that I don't miss. So we know that all of these hot rocks are going to be taken over to the villain's lair over in the hills. Now in the recent game files there also are a bunch of new sounds. I have all of the files of all the brand new sounds, including sound effects associated to the rocket over in the villain's lair, having their thrusters turned on, it actually launching impacts and so much more, including warning signs that have been set off around the map. Now these... Now these will associate most likely back to the bunkers we've been questioning for numerous weeks. Now we're inside of the rocket at this moment in time and nothing has really changed but the important part I want to show you is the separation and the items attached to this design. So we're flying around here looking at the design of the rocket and you can see that there are different parts to it. Now of course I know very little about rockets themselves but I do know that there are numerous parts. You've got the, you know, the bottom section, the thrusters, you've got the body section, you've also got whatever payloads in here. Th certain things such as the alpha, the omega, and the text code on here which is supposedly orientated around the word chief we're not really sure what that actually means at this moment in time but what I do know in this layer of course is that they still and as proof have been collecting more and more of these rocks some of which look kind of like dinosaur fossils which triggered a linkage to an area over by Greasy Grove. So we're going to go fly straight over there. This is the place where everyone was like, there's clearly a foot, uh, you know, a, a footprint here that is a part of a dinosaur's future. And now it's a part of a set. Now this hill right over here, this is one of the locations which associates to something hidden in one of the audio files. So you can see clearly there's this footprint and it has three toes. And it just reminds you instantly of a dinosaur. Now if we go back to Dusty Divot, okay, this is where we're going to take a look at some of the other things around the area. People were convinced at the time of the season starting that the meteorite was actually a giant 
leviathan it was going to hatch because it looked like an egg hatching and the reason for the leviathan being the, the you know the chosen target of what was inside of this meteorite was simply because at the time the leviathan was being leaked as a future character and potentially the reason of this we now know this was an extraterrestrial known as the visitor which we don't really understand fully as of yet and we don't know his purpose but there is a linkage to the loading screen which simply looked like he was trying to set the rocket off maybe he was trying to get home and he's completely separate from the actual movie set that we see ongoing it's not really set in place with that but there is an observer up on the mountain here that has been watching the progress of this as time has gone on now i personally believe that most likely this is of course just a normal human you've got like a picnic box thing here so i don't think this is anything like out there i don't think it's a villain i think this is actually the detectives from over in retail now the future skin for the detective is really interesting and the leaked back bling attached to this detective outfit is what associates everything together. So the back bling that is leaked of this agent from this detective agency, in the, the back side of it there is a little note and inside that note there is a bunch of sketches. Each of these sketches represent certain areas around the map. One showcases Moisty Meyer because of the, you know, the landscape. You don't get that anywhere else other than Moisty Meyer. You can see the tree and the roots and the water. You can then see the three-toed footprint, and you can then also see what looks like a cliff edge with rocks and trees around it. And we know that as time goes on, Dusty Divot is growing and growing and growing. So each of these three locations are hidden on this little sketch on the back of the back bling of the future D uh, DLC, which will be the detective skin so the detectives have clearly been looking at the footprint something associated to dusty divot and then they've also been looking at moisty Meyer. now if you didn't know at the start of the season when all the information was leaked which triggered the whole theory of the giant leviathan a, a member of staff of epic games was uh, is getting sued for the release of information including the release of the information of what happened to dusty D uh, depot which is now dusty divot now that information is exactly this i have a buddy who works for epic games and he told me stuff about season five and i want to share some of the information with you you know that the meteor hit dusty and of course there was an egg inside and inside the egg there was a big leviathan without the suit okay this is where things get interesting now the two new ltms that will come near the end of season four are 50 v 50 but one person and in one team will control the big leviathan and the team with the leviathan have to escort him to the whaling woods or greasy grove greasy grove is an important one because this is where you find the footprint which is also in the drawing and i'll talk about this in a moment it's not the leviathan i don't think it's the leviathan because it doesn't associate whatsoever to moisty myers now the other team has to take it down before it's too late and there's an infinite amount of lives in the game mode but no building now this goes on and talks about all sorts, but it says Tilted will be damaged and most of Moisty, 80% of it will be destroyed by the Leviathan and Dusty Divot shall be patched up a little bit. Now the coordinates in one of the audio files leads over to the enemy base because it has a skull hidden within the audio waves, but the other one has a bunch of coordinates. Now these coordinates once run through what is called, I've got it here on screen, the ASCII, which is the abbreviation for American Standard Code for Information Interchange when you take all of that information it hands you coordinates one of which sets your coordinate location here at the footprint and then the rest are pretty much orientated fully around Moisty Myers linking the footprint to Moisty Meyer. now the reason I say that it's most likely not a Leviathan is because there's another character which does have three toes as a footprint and that is the Moisty Merman which is that horrible looking crazy horrible skin which we know of in the game and it would make total sense if that was the reason why Moisty was destroyed and it wasn't hatched from the meteorite but it, maybe it was created using the power from the rocks or because inside of the game files there's also sound of teleportation maybe there's been some demortal some crazy portal sort of thing I don't even know how it would even come across in the game being opened to unleash this crazy monster maybe that's what the villains are working on and the detectives are trying to figure out it's a tough one and it's unclear but i do believe based upon moisty meyer being associated by the detectives the footprint being associated to them as well over there towards greasy and the footprint being three toed footprint which is exactly what the moisty merman has so i believe if that ltm is going to exist it's the moisty merman and let's just have a look at this. This is what you're all been waiting for. If we head over to Retail Row, okay, and we listen to all the information I've said, you compile it all together, 
it's clear that these detectives have associated Meistermeyer with the footprint, with Dusty Divot, and Dusty Divot then associates to the, the detective um, overviewing, the visitor going and interfering with the rocket in the villain's lair, and then of course this giant beast. But not only that though, this is how we discovered the first part of the rocket. Now, if you fly in through the door of the detective agency and you come straight in through the door, if you're in epic sentence, you'll be able to see this painting right here. Now, this painting is clearly one of the farms. Now, there are certain things in this that seem a little bit out of place and that we couldn't really figure out. But the one thing I wanted to do was fly to one of these locations. Now, I tried numerous times and I couldn't discover anything. And after countless hours of exploring and getting the right game files, this game file was recorded in the playground mode this morning before it went down as a mode. Over here in Anarchy Acres, in the exact same position showcased in the detective's painting with the big barn in the background, you are now seeing the first part of the crashed rocket and this is the thrusters from the base of the rocket. You can see from here you've got the small hurt, the big hurt in the background and this is the first part of the rocket which is absolutely insane. Not only did I say before the game files prove that this rocket launches but it also breaks up and the thrusters in one of the game sound files actually cuts out and this is why. It breaks off, this comes down and crashes here. And remember earlier on how I mentioned about the formation of the rocks in Dusty Divot this obviously is the only one we managed to find of and you'd be very very lucky if you even somehow discover a way to spot this same thing because this doesn't appear in many people's files it's super rare hence why no one spoke about it yet but the rock foundations can be found around the map as well which makes me think other parts of the rocket will break up and land elsewhere in the map and it's yet to be decided the end location of the full-on rocket but if the leviathan in information has any form of strength or you know actually reality whatsoever then it's highly likely that this rocket will be used in an ltm to take out a giant monster most likely going to be the merman i can't really figure out the rest of it because there's so much still to be taken on board this is us trying to cover loot lake by the way um we've already done it in a video anyway months ago but if we fly back over to the enemy's base you can see the part that we've just looked at crashed over in Anarchy Acres, it associates dead on to the part of the rocket. If we fly down here and we go and look back at the design that we were just looking at moments ago, uh, just at the start of the video, you can see that there, the thrusters at the bottom. That's the part that we've just found in Anarchy Acres crashed, and that is of course the bottom section of the rocket right here, which we can zoom down and have a look at. This is the part we found crashed. We haven't found anything else in the map, but we've definitely found that part of this will land over in Anarchy Acres. It's up to you guys, the rest of it, I really do not know what's going on. We found part of the rocket, we know the detective is associated to the footprint, and the footprint associates to a creature in Moisty Myers, and something to do with Dusty Divot. Whether Dusty Divot means the visitors sabotaged the villain's plan, and this is now going to be a weapon to destroy some giant creature from Moisty Myers. Or maybe it's the villains creating the monster, and this is their form of you know defense just in case it goes all wrong. It really could go in any way, but at least we found part of the rocket and we know that the rocket will launch and we have a better idea of what the potential creature that made that footprint came from and what it potentially is. My mind is blown and I hope I've covered all the points that I thought of. We've spent hours trying to piece information together and it's a headache but honestly I'm so excited and I can't wait to hear your theories in the comments below. Thank you for watching, take care, peace.